Hello, and welcome to the National Timely Action Hour, where I'm something of a scientist myself. Today, I wanted to talk to you about Web of Spider-Man, issue number 100, by Terry Cavanaugh and Alex Saviak, published in May of 1993. This is the first appearance of Spider-Man's spider armor. So yesterday I did an unboxing video where I showed you guys that I had just recently got this. And uh, I'll just give you a taste of Saviak's artwork. So in this issue, Spider-Man continues his fight against the new enforcers from the previous issue. And the new enforcers are this mercenary group who want to take over the New York City underworld. But Spider-Man is trying to stop them. Also, there is a uh, subplot with Richard Fisk, a.k.a. The Rose, who is the son of the Kingpin. But I don't really want to talk about that because it's not really important. So here we have the spider armor. And The Rose is right there. And uh, this is really really good artwork. I enjoyed Saviak's uh, take on Spider-Man and I love the design of the uh, armor. And Kavanaugh does a great job with the story. All around I love this comic and I am so glad that I bought it. Uh, surprisingly I only got it for about $14. Uh, this is a rare book. I've never been able to find it in my local comic book store even though I've spent a long time uh, looking through the long boxes, but I never was able to find it until I found it online on Amazon for a great price. So uh, thank you to the man who sold it to me. You know who you are. And boy, oh boy, was that a great story. Uh, so as I said in the last video, uh, this Spider-Man appears as an alternate version of uh, Peter Parker that we follow in the uh, 90s cartoon where he's sort of like Iron Man and he's married to Gwen Stacy. It's just an excellent uh, TV show. Definitely recommend it. And um, my dad also had an action figure where it was the spider armor and it was like a miniature figure like maybe this big but it was really cool. Suffice it to say, if you ever get the chance to read this, I definitely recommend it. And if you get the chance to buy it, go for it. It's well worth the price. Any price. Except maybe like thousands of dollars. The most I would probably pay would, would be like 50 bucks, which is what I got The Amazing Spider-Man number one for. So if that, if this is worth more than that, nah. But um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. So uh if you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button. If you are new, then uh, please subscribe so you can see more of my videos. I do all sorts of videos. I talk about superhero comic books. I talk about Japanese comic books. I talk about Star Wars. I talk about really anything that I like that's nerdy, I talk about. I talked about uh, Song of Ice and Fire.